Mr. Brown Mouse and the Ostrich Egg Once upon a time, Mr. Brown Mouse was out looking for new things. He was looking for different kinds of beetles and for new flowers. He knew the beetles loved to land on the leaves of the flowers and on the flower petals, and so he made sure to walk near the areas that had the most flowers. Every now and then, he got to see beautiful spotted ladybugs and different kinds of grasshoppers. As he walked along the path, looking at the different stones and the long grass growing along the edge of the path, he walked around a corner and saw something that he had never seen before. Well, he had never seen one this big before, and it was a very big one indeed. It was an egg. It was a big egg lying right in the middle of the path, and it didn't even have any cracks in it. Wow, thought Mr. Brown Mouse. This is a very big egg. What am I going to do with it? It must belong to somebody. Maybe somebody has lost an egg and I need to help them find it. He sat down on the rock and started to think. What am I going to do? Oh dear, I've got to get this egg back to its mama. He jumped up and ran to the top of a small hill and looked around, but he couldn't see anybody. Then he ran to the other side of a big rock by the side of the path, but he couldn't see anybody there either. In fact, it was a very quiet day and there weren't very many animals around at all. The birds were all off flying somewhere else and the other animals were in another part of the forest. There were only a few bugs, grasshoppers and beetles around. Oh no, what am I going to do? Mr. Brown Mouse thought to himself. Hmm. I better roll this egg along the path. And so he started to push and roll the egg. It was very heavy because it was even bigger than him. He had to push hard with his little hands and to make sure that the egg didn't roll off the path. He pushed and pushed along the path, over the stones and over the bumps, all the way up to the top of the hill. When he got to the top of the hill, he looked around, but he still couldn't see anybody. So he kept pushing, push, push, uh, push, push, and the egg rolled along. Suddenly, he came to the edge of the hill, where the ground started to go downwards again, and the egg started rolling down the hill. Stop, stop, shouted Mr. Brown Mouse as he ran after the egg, but the egg just kept on going, rolling and bouncing all the way down the hill. Mr. Brown Mouse ran as fast as he could, and while he was running, he ran right past a peacock. What was that? said the peacock. That looked like a mouse chasing an egg. That's the funniest thing I've seen all day. Hello, Mrs. Peacock! Mr. Brown Mouse shouted as he ran past. I'm just chasing this egg! His coat was flapping behind him, and he held tightly onto his hat as he ran and he chased the egg all the way down to the bottom of the hill. When he got to the bottom, guess who was there? It was Mrs. Hippopotamus. Mrs. Hippo had just come out of the water and was about to start walking home. She was very big compared to Mr. Brown Mouse, and the egg had stopped right under her big round belly. Mrs. Hippo, Mrs. Hippo, don't lift your feet up, shouted Mr. Brown Mouse as he ran up. Your feet are so big, and you are so big and heavy, I don't want you to squash that egg. I need to find its mama. Oh, said Mrs. Hippo. Hello, Mr. Brown Mouse. I haven't seen you for a long time. Why are you chasing this egg down the hill? I told you, said Mr. Brown Mouse. I've got to take it to find its mama and its nest where all of its brothers and sisters will be. I've got to keep pushing it along the path. Oh, okay. Let me move out the way. No, no! Don't move your feet because if you lift them up, you might squash the egg. Oh dear! Said Mrs. Hippo. Well, I'll just stand here then and you can push the egg out from under me. Okay, said Mr. Brown Mouse a little nervously. Slowly he walked under Mrs. Hippo's big tummy. Mrs. Hippo had four very big feet and each foot had four very big toes. Gently, he pushed the egg along. He looked up and he could see Mrs. Hippo's very big tummy. Ah, he said nervously. 
Mrs. Hippo, don't sit down, okay? I don't want to get squashed. Okay, Mr. Brown Mouse, said Mrs. Hippo. I won't sit down, don't you worry. And her tummy moved a bit as she spoke, and Mr. Brown Mouse went, oh, because her tummy was like a huge grey balloon above him. That's how big it was. Mr. Brown Mouse rolled the egg along slowly and carefully, over some bumps and around one of Mrs. Hippo's feet. He went all the way along until he came out the other side. Thank you, Mrs. Hippo, said Mr. Brown Mouse. Sorry I can't stay and chat. I must keep going. I'll see you later. As he pushed the egg around the corner. Push, push, push. By this time, the sun was getting higher and higher, and it was nearly lunchtime. He had been pushing the egg for quite a while. Hello, hello, is anybody out there? said Mr. Brown Mouse. Has anybody out there lost an egg? Hello? But there were still not very many animals around, just lots of bugs. So he kept pushing the egg along the path. Eventually, he got to a place that he had never been to before. He had never been along this part of the path before. I better keep going because somebody's lost their egg, he thought. Push, push, push. And as he pushed the egg around the next corner, guess what he saw? It was a big lizard with a blue head sitting on a rock. The lizard had a long tongue that went thump, thump, like that. Hello, Mr. Lizard, 